Laurel County deputies continue to follow up on leads in the murder of a well-known realtor. 62-year-old Brian McCarty was found dead in his home Saturday. Authorities say he'd been shot multiple times. LEX 18's Mike Valente spoke with one of McCarty's best friends who said McCarty was looking forward to the next chapter in his life. That's the LEX 18 Big Story at 11. Some 25 years ago, Brian McCarty walked into a dealership where Bill Chastine worked, hoping to get his car looked at. It was the start of a decades-long friendship. We'd go in a cave on the ledge or something and just just uh, have a few beers all the time, you know, and, uh, and uh, all the holidays we tried to uh, get a hold of each other. I could, I could not see him in two months, and when I did see him again, it was like, you know, we, we weren't apart for two months. Chastine said he really admired McCarty's work ethic. McCarty started out as a short order cook and later in life got into real estate, buying up townhouses in Laurel County. He done a really good job of taking care of them, keeping them manicured, and he really took good care of his renters. I mean, they can't they couldn't say enough about him. I mean, if, if they needed something by the next day, they had it or he had it fixed for him. When he wasn't tending to his tenants or working his farm, McCarty liked to hunt fish and sit and watch the deer roam near his cabin. Chastine said McCarty was looking forward to a more laid back life. He was getting ready to sell his rentals. He was just gonna, you know, take the money and kick back and enjoy the rest of his life. And uh, somebody took it away from him. A spokesman with the Laurel County Sheriff's Office says McCarty had missed a business meeting last weekend. Police did a welfare check and found McCarty dead in his cabin. Total stop, shock and devastation. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I thought for sure he'd outlive me. Chastine says he wishes he could figure out who would want his friend dead. But to him, this was a guy who had no enemies. I'll never forget him. I mean, he's, he's, he, I always remember him as a very special man in my life. He was like a brother to me. You know, I loved him. Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News.